हेलो एवरी वन वंस अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन क्लास सिक्स बायोलॉजी क्लास एंड टूडे आई विल डिस्कस द सेकेंड चैप्टर द फ्लावर थर्ड पार्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द फर्टिलाइजेशन इन फ्लावर सो आई ऑलरेडी डॉन द फिगर एंड लेट्स डिस्कस द टॉपिक फर्टिलाइजेशन सो वॉट इज फर्टिलाइजेशन इट इज द फ्यूजन ऑफ मेल गैमेट विद द फीमेल गैमेट फॉर्मिंग जाइगोड दिस प्रोसेस इज नोन एज फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस डायग्राम आई विल टेल यू हाउ दिस फर्टिलाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो इन सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर आई टोल्ड यू अबाउट द पॉलीनेशन एंड वॉट इज पॉलीनेशन द ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन एंड पॉलन ग्रेन इज द मेल गैमेट द ट्रांसफर ऑफ पॉलन ग्रेन फ्रॉम एंथर टू द स्टिग्मा this is the first step for the fertilization now just see the figure here i have drawn the female part of flower this part is known as the stigma observe it properly when the pollen grains these are pollen grains when these pollen grains are falls on the stigma what happen this pollen grains grows into pollen tube and this pollen tube it carries the male gamete to the ovary and through the ovary it goes to the ovule and in ovule the egg cells are present where these pollen grains are fused with the egg cells and this process is known as the fertilization that means when the male gamete this male gamete it grows it goes to the pollen tube and reaches to the ovary then it fused with the female gamete and form the zygote this process is called the fertilization i am going to write the definition over here the process by which male gamete fuses with the female gamete to form zygote this zygote this is the single cell structure and after the formation of the zygote what happened the zygote undergoes the rapid division the rapid division goes and it forms the then it forms the embryo and the process of fertilization is completed that means after uh, pollination the process of fertilization takes place and after the fertilization whatever the further changes will be going on that now will start now we will start that means after the fertilization the formation of seed and fruits is going to be start so let's see the fruits and seeds these are also known as a post fertilization changes that means after the fertilization whatever the changes occurs in the flower so what happened except ovary other parts of flower like petals sepals and stamens they just fall off petals sepals and stamens they just dry up and fall off now after this the ovary ovary enlarges and form fruit okay and the fertilized ovule the fertilized ovule that means where the fertilization takes place 
दैट फर्टिलाइज ऑफ यूल डेवलप्स इन टू द सीड्स नो यू ऑल नो दैट द सीड्स आर गोइंग टू प्रोड्यूस इन टू द न्यू प्लांट दैट मीन्स सीड्स कंटेन एम्ब्रियो and these embryo these embryo are going to form the new plants that means after the fertilization these changes are occur in the plants in some plants like tomato and potato what happened this uh, whether or fall of not happen and they are just going to form the outer skin in tomato and brinjal now let's see the parts of fruit right now i discuss about the fruits and the seeds now i am going to discuss whatever the parts of the seed uh, fruits so a ripe fruit completely ripening food it consists of pericarp it consists of pericarp and this pericarp this pericarp is having the three part what are that three part first is the epicarp second is the mesocarp second part mesocarp and the third part endocarp so what are these part and how it is useful so epicarp it is the outer skin of fruit which protects the fruit outer skin and it protects then what is mesocarp it is the middle fleshy part of fruit which is edible fleshy part of fruit it is edible edible means you can eat it now the last part that is endocarp it is the internal part of fruit and contains ya consist of seeds so these are the parts of fruit now let us discuss the types of fruit that means dry fruit and fleshy fruits now in the dry uh, dry fruit first i will discuss about the dry fruit in dry fruit entire pericarp dries up entire pericarp dries and it is not going to differentiate it into the not differentiated into as i told you the parts of pericarp that means it is not differentiated into epicarp mesocarp 
एंड इंडोकार एंड इफ यू विल सी द एग्जाम्पल द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ दिस आर वॉलनट पी बीन्स एट्सेट्रा नो लेट सी अबाउट द फ्लैशी फ्रूट इन फ्लैशी फ्रूट द पेरी काव डेवलप्स इन टू सक्यूलेंट टिश्यू पेरी कार डेवलप्स इन टू सक्यूलेंट टिश्यू पेरी काव डेवलप इन टू सक्यूलेंट टिश्यूज हेयर इंडोकार मीजोकार एंड पेरिकार इट इज प्रेजेंट डिफ्रेंशिएटेड इन टू इपिकार मीजोकार एंड पेरिकार That means this tissue it is completely differentiated into the each part of pericarp. Example, let's see example as a mango. Okay, so this is all about the dry fruit and the fleshy fruits. Now let's see the parts of the seed which is very important. Earlier we were discuss about the parts of fruit. Now I am going to discuss about the parts of seeds. so parts of the seed that means the parts which made the seed so first part of seed is the seed coat that means outer covering the seed coat it is the outer protective layer of seed it is outer protective layer one more quality of this it absorb water it absorb water and becomes soft and after become soft it's teared and germinate into the new seeds sorry new plant that means after absorbing water the seed coat become soft and it germinates the new plant now the next part of seed is the embryo embryo that means through the embryo the parts of plant is going to be germinate so embryo it is having two part first is the radical and radical it is also known as embryonic root which forms a root of plant and the second part of embryo is the plumule this plumule it is also known as embryonic shoot why it is known as embryonic shoot because it is going to form the upper part of plant the shoot of the plant to for remembering this radical and plumule what is their function so r for radical and r for root so just keep it in your mind the what radical give rise it give rise to the root and rather the different function the plumule it gives rise to the shoot and now the other part of uh, seed is the cotyledons the 
this cotyledons it is also known as the seed leaves okay this cotyledon it is also known as seed leaves and it is very important because it surround the embryo it surround the embryo and nourish the embryo that's why it is very important part of plant so now this is all about the parts of seed but one more important part of seed is there which is very important because it provides the nourishment and that is the endosperm now this part of seed is known as the endosperm it lies beneath the seed coat it lies beneath the seed coat if we will discuss about the monocots it is there it's easily visible but if we will talk about the dicots the endosperm reduces and mixes with the cotyledons so these all are the parts of seed i told you cotyledons endosperm seed coat and embryo that means the plumule and the radicles now the rest of the topic of this chapter we will discuss in the next video till then bye bye thank you